Hi there, my name is Franz. Welcome to my unboxing video of a flight sim radio stack from MF Sim Simulators. First of all, this is my very first video on YouTube. I'm a rookie when it comes to making films or videos. It isn't exactly my cup of tea. Frankly, I made this video with my iPad from start to finish in one single shot without a break. Simply because I lack the knowledge using a program to edit video clips. I know uh, the lightning and sound quality could be a lot better and adding background music and text would make it more professional. As a newbie in this field, I have no idea how to handle this yet. But who knows, I'll get the hang of it with time and make better videos in the future. Well hey, who cares right now? This video isn't about uh, making better videos. It's about sharing information about the flight sim product for flight sim enthusiasts and home cockpit builders like me. I've bought uh, this radio stack from a company in Brazil more than a month ago. So this package has traveled half the world to get here and now it's finally here to show you. I've received it just a couple of days ago and I can hardly wait to get my hands on it. But I had to be patient and make this unboxing video first. Before opening uh, the package I want to share some information about this company that manufactures and sells these radio stacks and a lot of other good uh, looking flight sim hardware and even complete cockpit units for flight schools worldwide. A lot of their products are approved by the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, that's a transportation department in the United States. On the background, behind me, you can see part of my home-built cockpit. I built this cockpit a decade ago and it's time for a major overhaul with new components. I bought a new 22-inch monitor and made this panel with rotary encoders and push buttons to place in front and behind it a thin glass plate to make it look even more realistic. I also needed a new radio stand to replace the old one that I sold a few weeks ago. Before, I had a, uh, two SciTech uh, radio panels, and, uh, but I was never satisfied the, the way they looked. They worked just fine, no doubt about that, but the only downside, with power on, they light up like a Christmas tree. They don't have the dimensions of a real a radio stack and you can certainly won't find the panel, panels like, looking like this in a real airplane. For most of you, the looks are not important, but when you are building a cockpit like this one behind me, well, it matters. You want most of the parts as real as you can get without spending a lot of money. There are many well-known companies on the market that sell radio panels for an affordable price. Companies like Sidetech, and nowadays called Logitech, GoFly and VR Insight, to name a few, they are what I call on the lower side of the price list. Most of the radio panels on the market today, with an affordable price tag around 400 to 500 euros for a complete radio stack like this, don't look like radio panels used in real airplanes. I even dare to say, far from that. It doesn't even come close. On the more expensive side of the price list, however, you have companies like Flight Illusion and Sim Kits that sell replicas of the real Bendix King radio stack. They are and look awesome, but they are very expensive. It will cost you a fortune. With a price tag of around 2,500 up to 3,500 euro, there are for flight sim enthusiasts like me and a lot of other people, I think, a no deal. Looking for a good alternative with a price tag somewhere in the middle? Well, there isn't much for sale. There are many radio stacks on the market today that are looking realistic and come with an affordable price tag. They are hard to find. I surfed on the internet and googled the word radio stack and finally came up with a single picture of a radio stack I was looking for with a company name on it, MF Sim Simuladores de Vol. Well, that's Portuguese. I never heard of this company before, 
Mixed picture that I discovered quite by accident was the only link to their name and website. Later I couldn't find this picture on the internet anymore and therefore their name is hard to find. As far as the internet is concerned, speaking in aviation terms, well, this company is flying under the radar. If you've never heard of them before, you won't find their website. Usually I don't buy or import goods from unknown companies abroad. I've no experience importing products from other continents. It's always a little risky to buy goods from so far away, pay a lot of money in advance and then hope it arrives. This foreign company sells these radio stacks for only 370 euro and an additional 55 euro shipping cost to Europe. It looked like what I was looking for, so I couldn't let it go and I took the risk. And via email I got in touch with this until then unknown company. Mauricio Fernandez, who is the director and I think considering the company name, also the owner of this company MFSIM, answered all my questions personally. He responded to my emails within a few days, he was helpful, stayed in touch with me uh, during the whole process and made me feel confident doing business with him. As far as I can tell, it's a reliable and trustworthy company, but although it's unlikely, I could be wrong and they sent me a few rocks, well, we'll see. Now you are probably thinking, this looks like a promotional video. Maybe he is paid to give a positive review about this company, but this by no means. I want to be objective and independent and let me assure you, I've paid the full price for this product. This video isn't sponsored in any way, I got no financial interest in the company other than being a customer that is content with the way they do business. They produce a lot of interesting good stuff for flight simmers and cockpit builders, so it's worth to mention their name. And now we are getting to the point where it's all about. The most important part of this video, unboxing the package. I'm eager and curious to see what's inside. I've waited so long, so let's take a look. And for that, we need a small tool, and in this case, a small potato. No. Well, on top of it, uh, a letter few business cards and a keychain. Well, it's a note from the company itself. Well, if we put that away, I will read that later. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of uh, packaging material. I will put that on the ground. Place that in front of me. Well, that looks promising. It may not look exactly like a bandit skin radio set, but you can certainly imagine to find such a step in a real airplane. And anyway, I always say halfway to the mountain top, the view is also very nice, and you can always dance on a wedding party, even if it's not with the bride. This panel is definitely worth my cockpit. On the bottom of the box, under the radio stack, a few connection cables, a 12 volt DC power supply cable and an HDMI cable to connect the display to a computer. The rotary encoders and push buttons look and feel solid and durable and all is compactly built together in a metal casing. On top the audio panel, it's always good to check the Morse code after entering the nut frequencies. I was missing an audio panel in my previous setup. Underneath, the GNS430 GPS with 
become one and not one, with all the necessary rotaries and push buttons. While flying, I use that a lot. Personally, I'm very glad with this panel. Now I can set the GPS with the root buttons instead of the computer mouse. This here is a second radio panel with COM2 and NAV2. Always handy to have a second panel. And below the ADF, HDF, or ADF, the, the automatic direction finder and distance measurement equipment. And with these two buttons, you can choose between DMA1 and DMA2. And here we got the transponder with four individual rotaries to enter the four digit uh, score code. And last but not least, the autopilot, and that speaks for itself. So you put all you need for an immersive navigational flight sim experience. Turning it around, looking at the back side, you got a few connections from top to bottom, an audio output connection, PGA and HDMI, and uh, a connection for the adapter, the 12 volt adapter. The package comes with a 12 volt adapter power cable with a European plug, so you don't need to change that. And also an HDMI to HDMI cable to connect the unit display with your computer. The required software and manual to make it work with X-Play and F6 or Prepared is developed by the company itself and provided by email. And right now, as I speak, you can download this from their website directly. If you want to purchase this uh, radio set, please bear in mind that they don't have these panels in stock. After placing an order, keep in mind that it will take up to 30 days to manufacture and an additional 10 days to ship it to Europe. So you have to be patient. For customers abroad, usual payment is half upon order and the other half when ready for shipping. I hope this info was useful and sufficient. Unfortunately, I can't show you uh, how everything is working right now. But maybe in the next video I can show you the results with this radio stack that I'm going to install soon. If you are interested in this radio stack or want some more information about their other products or complete cockpit units, please visit their website, MF Sim Simulators. For now, I wish all real world and sim pilots out there many good flights. But above all, many good landings for that is what you need to stay alive, uh, healthy and alive. If you like this video, then hit the button thumbs up. Or want more information, don't forget to subscribe and hit the link below. And thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.